Vampire Academy is a 2014 film that I just got back from a screening. This is directed by Mark Waters and it's based off of the novel with the same name. Now the plot is we meet these two characters, Rose and Lissa, and we see that they got into a car accident like two years ago and because of this accident a lot of stuff happened that made them close together, create this bond. And oh yeah, Lissa either found out she was a vampire or became a vampire. When was the last time you ate? Are you, are you sure about this? Bon appetit. Rose is bonded to her, like I said, like they have this deep connection. And she's actually kind of the guardian for Lissa. Now they wind up at Vampire Academy. They tried to break out and escape and they were actually gone for like a year, but at the beginning of the movie, they get taken back. Please don't say Vampire Academy. You know how I feel about the V word. Back off, blood whore. He's mine now. God, I hate high school. Rose starts to realize that something's going on with Lissa. Like, she's using these powers that she has, but the more she uses her powers, the more sort of different it turns her. So Rose not only has to stop Lissa from going towards the dark side, but she also has to stop these dark, evil vampires from trying to kill everyone in the Academy. Now, what I thought of Vampire Academy was... It's not a great movie, no. And sure, some of this screams Twilight, but I will say that I kind of was entertained by the movie. First, let me start with Zoe Dutch, who plays Rose. This girl, I remember seeing her in Beautiful Creatures as one of the minor characters. I was just looking at her and going, wow, she looks so much like Rose Byrne. If anyone knows that actress, like, they have to be related. Maybe I should look that up. They possibly could be related. Her as the character, Rose, ironically named enough, she's a quirky character. Sort of the smart ass of the group. And yeah, that could provide with some funny moments. Rose Hathaway is wild, dangerous, and subordinate. Right here, folks. Right here. But there were some jokes that she was telling that kind of cringe-worthy and just don't really work. But there were a couple times where I did laugh. Like, this kid at the academy that clearly likes her. He's always sort of throwing out signs that he likes her. And he comes up to her complaining about how she hooked up with this asshole jock. And she just cuts him off and goes, dude, I don't have time to be dealing with your feelings right now. It just walks away. And I'm like, okay, that was pretty hilarious. I did like her connection with Lissa. It was an interesting idea, the way how, like, Rose would have these moments. Sometimes she can't even control them, where she would see what Lissa is seeing. It's like she had her eye. Because it made them not only more close than normal best friends that you see in films, but I think in some ways it sort of hinted at them being more than friends. I mean, they don't out and say that, of course, but like when they were on the run for the year and Lissa had to feed because she's a vampire, so she would let Lissa feed on her. And I, I guess it's kind of a sexual thing as well. So yeah, these two are a lot more connected than I think the film wanted us to really think about. Look alive. Of course, though, you have to have guys for these girls to fall in love with, right? There's this kid, Christian, at the Academy that Lissa starts to like. And this guy, at first, I thought, I was like, okay, he looks like Robert Pattinson. I'm just I'm not going to really give a shit about this whole thing. But he had these interesting powers, like manipulating fire. But the other character, Dimitri, he's the one that Rose falls for. I kind of had an issue with them falling in love, not because I didn't like the actor or anything, it's just, I thought it was weird. Rose is 17 years old, and she's being trained by Dimitri to be a better fighter, be a better guardian for Lissa. And then they start to fall for each other, and it's like, okay, I, I can see why she's falling for him, because he's a guy of a higher ranking authority, and he's showing her the rope, so okay, fine. But he's, I'm gonna guess, 25, 26. Is it okay for him to be falling in love with a 17 year old? I guess this movie doesn't really care. Look, I'm not gonna say he shouldn't be tempted. And yes, this actress playing Rose is pretty cute. 
So I don't blame him for wanting to, but I feel like once he reveals his feelings, we're just supposed to not care that this is wrong. And it's just supposed to be like, oh, I hope they get together someday. Oh my God. As far as the main villain goes, I guess I can't really talk about that for spoiler reasons. Yes, it's a surprise, but they do have these more evolved and evil vampires. I guess they're a more dead version of vampires. They didn't really go into too much of what they are and all this stuff, but they were creepy, they were interesting, they had these bloodshot red eyes, and you can tell they weren't really the former vampires that they were before. Let's we'll just keep our heads down and we'll stay under the radar. But under the radar plan working out, Highness. Not so much. There wasn't really a whole lot of action. I don't think this movie's trying to pretend like it's gonna have a whole lot of action. But there were some decent stuff in there. Werewolves, of course. Everyone saw that I tried to take the high road. Sort of. I'd say the first half of the movie I was debating on giving it just a rental. Because I was saying it's not like it's bad, but I wasn't really like jumping out of my seat about this movie either. And then towards the end, I, I got more into the characters, like the relationships, and there was a couple of swerves for the ending that I said, all right, I might be willing to bump it up to a low matinee. Not because it's that great of a movie, not because it's like, oh, you have to rush and see this film. No, it's just because I can tell for the intended audience it's going to be what they want to see. And I will say that even with all the Twilight references aside, because this movie does have a lot of that, it did try to be a little different than Twilight. I mean, there was more blood, surprisingly, and yes, the vampires didn't sparkle. Trust me, you do not want to have to get a nose job in Montana. The sequel bait ending is kind of funny. Not funny in like a comical sense. It's just in the sense that I've seen a lot of these movies based on books that have multiple books. So you can tell that these films are supposed to be building towards a possible series. But a lot of them, especially from last year, didn't really get going. A lot of sequels aren't happening. I don't know if this is going to be a new franchise, but if they do make another movie, I would go see it. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in seeing Vampire Academy. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!